I'm going to go through all seven modes in the major scale right here. Okay, and I'm going to be using the C major scale. Okay, maybe a little pentatonic here and there, C major pentatonic. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down like a looper track with my ditto here, and then I will solo over it. Here you go. So what I did there is, you know, I tried to focus on some of your key chord tones like E, and that's the third for the C major chord, and then C of course the root, but um, at the same time I worked on some of the passing tones, like this is an F. Now if I played that over the C chord at the same time, oops, wrong one. Definitely sticks out, especially if the thirds there. Kind of offers a, uh, a very dissonant sound. But if I use it as a passing tone and just hit it a couple times, it's a way of uh, offering a little bit of tension and release within the scale. Okay, so let's try another one. Okay. Do a, a D minor seven, and once again, I'm still going to play the C, the C major scale, and it'll produce a D Dorian sound.
So the same idea. Um, I almost can't help if I see a, uh, a D minor, D minor shape. I know I'm going to be playing Dorian. I always will start off with a D minor seven arpeggio. Well, not always, but I do it a lot. Okay, and stop right there, and that's going to be the third. Then we come back here to the E, and it just sounds pretty nice. You let's hang out there for a second, which is the second or the nine. Back into that third. Ooh. Back, and then now we're going to have the, that's the root again, and then the flat seven. Now the B, that's going to be our 13 or the six. Now this one note helps differentiate the sound from Dorian to Aeolian because um, an Aeolian or the natural minor scale would be back here. If I was playing a D minor, but we have B, so that gives us what's a natural six to the flat seven. Okay, so let's move on to some Phrygian. Phrygian, we got a couple cool little half step spots. So, um, as I'm playing it, I prefer to land on the B and the or the fifth and the root more so than the third and the seven. A lot of times, those are the two notes that I like to focus on uh, quite a bit as I'm playing, but there's something about the Phrygian scale I just prefer hearing that uh, root to the flat nine or the flat two resolution and then of course the B to the flat six all right so once again for the most part well actually for the whole time I was just playing the C major scale and as I'm playing the C major scale um, I'm playing it over an E minor chord okay and that produced uh, the sound of E Phrygian okay so let's move on to F for F Lydian
It's one of my favorite licks. Okay, so now what I did at first is I uh, played a the sharp four, okay, um, which would be the B for F. In the key of F, you should have a B flat for your natural four, but we have a sharp four for Lydian. And when I played that, I went up to the fifth, okay, which will be uh, that's going to be your C and resolved on the A, so it's really like the way that sounds. Possibly too much, okay? And then of course I'd come back here on that sharp four and you would raise it up a little bit, a little half step. The left major arpeggio at one point. Okay, so like I said, same thing, I'm just playing C major, but I'm playing it over an F major chord, so it gives us the sound of F Lydian. For that one, I just tried to uh, isolate the tone that's uh, the tone that makes uh, the mixolydian different than like a, a G major scale. A G major scale would have an F sharp in it. So I try to hit the uh, flat seven, the F, quite a bit, as much as I could. Okay, and then of course, This was like a, a lot of the ones I was playing uh, earlier when I did this half step bend, I was bending from a passing tone into a chord tone. Well, here it was the opposite. It was, um, I could bend into a passing tone back into a chord tone, okay? Or I could do a pre-bend. All right, so, but like I said, the most part is it was just really focusing on the flat seven. All right, now let's move on to the A minor seven, okay?
course here I could uh, definitely use the minor pentonic. Which is the C major pentonic. So I did a lot of landing on the flat third. Okay, if I play this, no, I should actually did that a little bit more. So let's try it again. Okay, um, see so erase that. Okay, so let's try um, a Aeolian again. Alright, so. out of the, uh, the major pentonic, but since I'm playing it over an A, it's an A minor pentonic. Okay, and then here, that's my flat six, so if I use it a lot, So, besides just using the, uh, the the pentatonic, turning into the A minor pentatonic, also I was uh, um, isolating this one, my flat six, and uh, moving it to a different chord tone, all while still playing the C major scale um, or the C major pentatonic. All right now. Uh, so the last one, which would be a B minor 7 flat 5.
So with that, uh, the C major scale, but one of the things I was trying to do a lot is add this B. B minor seven flat five arpeggio, because it just works well with a B minor seven flat five chord, believe it or not. So, and then of course, uh, one of the things that makes the minor seven flat five uh, different uh, compared to the, uh, or the locker and scale is it has a flat five in it. So that's one of the things that makes it different is uh, it's the only ones, uh, it's the only one of the major scale modes with the flat five. So uh, by uh, hitting on it quite a bit and uh, making sure that it's heard, it gets a, uh, it helps uh, uh, bring out the sound of the mode a little bit more compared to the rest of them since it's the only one with it. And of course messing with it. The messing, uh, the same arpeggio that's the, the chords built from, or the, uh, or the, <laughs> the, an arpeggio that's built out of the same notes that the chords built with. So, but all of those, all those seven modes, it's playing the same position, the same scale, the same shape, not, nothing too tricky, but every once in a while I would just, uh, um, maybe play more on the chord tone, uh, I'm sorry, maybe, maybe or an arpeggio rather, and then use uh, something like uh, one of the passing tones and, and uh, pick particular passing tones that seem to be more unique to that particular mode. Alright, so good luck. Mm -hmm.